this is a PSA to uh, educate some of my colleagues on the importance of being a resilient teacher. And I actually uh, read this resource in my course um, that I'm most recently taking. And it's basically 12 choices to become a healthy, uh, happy teacher. And uh, it's taken from Happy Teacher Revolution. And basically, there's, there's a couple points that really jumped out to me that I wanted to share with um, the rest of you. These 12 points are some things that might apply to your life, might not, but it can help you become a resilient teacher and to avoid teacher burnout and to be a positive influence on the people around yourself and most importantly, be a healthier you. So you can choose to be happy. Um, you know, it, it's a, uh, a choice that you make throughout your day rather than focusing on the negative things. You could choose to disconnect and detach with love from certain people or certain situations if you know it's a toxic relationship or there's behavioral issues, um, you can choose to disconnect from that situation rather than escalate a situation. Choosing to be mindful. Uh, we all multitask throughout the day, but instead of worrying about which papers to grade next or how you're going to you know, prepare this lesson for two days from now, um, when you're teaching, focus on teaching. When you're lesson prepping, focus on lesson prepping. When you're with your family, focus on your family. Another choice to make would be to make time for sleep, um, you know, instead of staying up late and watching a show or uh, staying up late to grade that one last uh, set of tests. Um, getting a good night's rest will make you a happier, more resilient teacher in the end. Uh, choosing to get outside and get moving. This is one that really um, resonates with me. I love being outside, and if I don't get outside each and every day, at least for a minute or two, um, hopefully longer than that, um, you know, I get to be grumpy. So um, choosing to be moving, exercising, being outside can make you a happier teacher. Uh, choosing to be grateful for the things that you do have in your life rather than thinking about things that you don't have. Choosing what to overlook. Um, you know, maybe it's a colleague that you don't get along with, or maybe it's a behavioral issue, but the student is improving. So you're choosing to overlook maybe a, a small flaw in order to focus on the positive of that particular student. Uh, choosing the battles worth fighting. Um, sometimes, you know, students can push your buttons. Um, you know, do you not walk down a path where you're fighting fire with fire in a bad way? Choosing what to do next time around. Um, you know, focusing on reflecting is an important process and thinking about, you know, what choices would you make if that were to occur again? Okay, choosing relationships that matter. Uh, in the social media age, it's, it's um, easy to get down, go down a path that is negative and pessimistic and you can choose relationships that you're in and that matter in order to make a positive influence in your life. Uh, choosing to prioritize what matters. So, you know, focusing on the here and now rather than uh, what happened yesterday or tomorrow or a year from now. And finally, choosing to end the school year well no matter how bad it was in the beginning or how good it was in the beginning. Um, focusing on constantly improving and having a happy, healthy lifestyle. Um, these are 12 choices that you can make to become a more resilient, uh, more happy teacher that you know has is a positive influence on your peers, on your students, and the people around you.